Kitty, we gotta talk. Lately, I feel like things have been difficult for both of us. And I also feel like I need to take more time to understand myself, so listen to me. I'm gonna go away for a while. Not a long time. It's nothing you've done wrong. I know how you are, kitty cat. You probably think of a million reasons to blame yourself, but it's not. I just... I don't feel like I've been the proper man you need. I don't feel like I've been good enough, so I... <sighs> no. Please, kitty cat, understand. I want to stick by your side. And I'd never let go. But I need to know that I'm worthy of someone like you. I'm used to not being... I'm used to my life being decided by everyone else. And I'm used to things going bad. But I've never dealt with something like this. I love you. I do. So maybe things will work out. I'll see you. Around, kitty cat. What do you mean? Why are you standing in front of the door, kitty cat? I'm doing this for you. It, it isn't like that at all. It's not because I want to. I... Uh, it, the hell was that for? I understand why you hit me, kitty. But you have to understand that the reason why this started it's all my fault. I started everything because I was the one who got revenge for my best friend. I was the one who made things what they are. I... I killed someone. I don't know if that makes me a monster, but it definitely doesn't make me guilt-free. Especially not with you, kitty cat. You've always been so warm and kind, and you deserve someone equally warm and kind. What do you mean that's me? How could you say that after what I just told you? I held it back for so long because I knew it. I knew it deep in my heart. Even if you said you accept it, it would shock you. It would make you think think of me as lost, right? What do you mean I deserve that? I guess you hate me because because I did that to try and get revenge. It was a bad situation. But I'm glad I could at least tell you before you went away and What the hell are you doing, kitty cat? I don't understand. Why now? I like this. Why would you kiss me? Can't you see why these lips don't deserve yours? They're broken, battered, bruised, and scarred by the sins that crawl on them. And I... Why are you treating me so kind? I don't understand it, kitty cat. You don't make any sense right now because... Because you're supposed to hate me. Or at least say we can't work out. You trying to keep things together. Isn't that a bad thing for you? Isn't that too cruel? Isn't it unfair? Isn't it just terrible. I love you. Of course I do. I've loved you from day one, but you shouldn't have to date someone who didn't even have the courage to tell you. I didn't have the courage to say it. Yet here you are, trying to tell me how I'm a good person. I took that man's life. Murderer or not, 
I took justice into my own hands. I gave him a command to walk himself right into that lake. It was... It was terrible. And yet it made me feel a little better. As shameless as I was. Like... I was a monster. And it always lingered with me whenever they teased me. The bullies growing up. Whenever they said I was a villain. And my power was going to make me a villain someday that they distanced themselves because they thought I was going to use it against them. I always held on to it, Kitty. And I never knew how to let go because I couldn't. I didn't know how. And I wish it was just that one. The one you already knew about. That was haunting me. No. I know you knew about it, Kitty. At least part of it. But there was more. I took revenge too far. And that's why I couldn't... I couldn't talk to you about it. Because I was too ashamed. That's why I had to end things while I still had a shred of dignity. So that you could find someone. Someone who's a little better than me. No, don't. If you kiss me, it just makes it harder to do the right thing. Can't you understand that, kitty? I... I don't want to go. But if I don't... You'll be dating someone who killed someone innocent, too. I'll admit it. It wasn't just him. There were others. Others I didn't want to mention because whenever I tried, it was like a knot in my throat. I couldn't finish the sentence. I would go blank and I'd be too scared, inside quivering, but on the outside, I seem plain as day. I don't express myself well, kitty cat. Not when it comes to things like this. Least of all, when I got revenge on his family. Look, I'm not defending it. But it's haunted me the whole time. I don't care if they were villains, all of them. They weren't the ones who wronged me. They were gonna ruin. They were gonna ruin the entire investigation as it was spun the wrong way the disappearance was pinned on my best friend it was pinned on someone who didn't deserve it and they were manipulating things they ruined things so I told them to go to hell without realizing it my cork had activated. It was in response to them asking me why my friend killed their... their husband, their father. But they didn't realize or even give the thought to if it was the other way around. And when I told them to go to hell, it was so powerful I didn't know how to stop it. The looks on their faces, they just went blank. And then when I heard on the news that they died, I felt even worse. There wasn't a relief in it. But I was so angry that making accusations on someone who was killed, how would they even? They say it was self-defense. They said so many things that condemned my dead friend. I wanted at least her memory to go on in a positive light. I wanted her to be the hero she always saw herself as. Even if, even if I knew, deep, deep down, I went too far. When I told them that, I could see what was going to happen 
And yet I didn't have the courage to tell anyone. Because I was afraid they'd think I did it on purpose. They wouldn't understand, so I didn't mention. And that blank look of contention, of fear. It was a mixture of both in their eyes. Listen, kitty cat. What if that happens? I get angry and I... I tell you something bad. What then? What if it's always been ingrained in me? What do I do? You can't just stop me. You can't just accept that. Because I'm afraid of myself. As much as I regret it. I can't regret. That I... I'm trying to do the right thing. Right here, kitty cat. If I stay here. If I just go along with what you say, you accept all this, then what? How, how is it I'm supposed to forgive myself? Because I don't know how. I could have probably stopped it. My power might have worn off eventually. And sure, maybe people would have thought I would have been tempting murder. Sure, maybe they would have put me away as a villain, but I, I was a coward, and it took more than just the passing of my best friend to get over that. I had to realize a lot of things, but in many ways I still feel like I'm that coward, that little boy who doesn't know what to say, who stared right into the eyes of someone who was dead. Someone who didn't deserve death. Even if they were badgering a child for something that they knew, deep down probably couldn't be the case. They just wanted me to admit it. They tried to pressure me into being a witness. A witness to something that just couldn't be. Kitty. I love you, but you can do better than me, and I just, I don't like putting it that way, but it's been eating me up lately, and I'm glad whether or not you accept it, that you listen, so I guess I'm glad you stood in front of that door and hugged me more desperate than if you're hanging on to life. I'm honored I meant that much to you. Well, mean that much to you. But kitty, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm scared once I walk out this door, it's gonna be a cold world. And I won't know when to stop. I'm scared that if I walk out, there's gonna be nothing there. But hate and pain. And I don't want to go. Deep down, I never wanted to leave. But how can you accept this? How is it you're just okay with it? How? That doesn't make any sense at all. I. I wish I could understand, kitty cat, but I can't. I can't understand at all how you could accept someone like me after what I did, after my sins, after doing things worse than some villains. How can you still want to be with me? You're definitely a strange one, kitty. I always did like that about you. Now I loved it. In that cute way you always beg me to stay whenever I have to go and do hero work. A sad look in your eye then is almost as cute as the happy one when I get back from hero duty. 
It makes me so happy whenever I get to see the many faces you share with me. I can't even begin to explain how happy I've been with you. You're my kitty. My one and only kitty cat and... Well, I guess code accounts too. <laughs> I think code is on your side. He wants me to stay too. I think you've really charmed the fellow. He's such a good boy. Isn't that right, Coda? <laughs> I didn't expect to smile today. So I'll consider it better than before. I wanna just stay here for a little bit. And what can I say? I can't go disappointing you two. And besides, maybe I'm a better man than I used to be. Maybe things can work out. You know from the start, I wasn't even sure what to do. Because I felt bad leaving, but I felt worse not being able to tell you. Maybe it just took reaching this bottom point. Maybe it took me considering all of it to come to grips with the fact that I didn't mean to. Even if I did. Even if they haunt my nightmares. I've apologized in my heart so many times. I put a lot of flowers on their graves. Because I do feel responsible. One of them was no older than me. Though at the time was in grade school. And then the grieving wife who probably didn't realize that her husband was a, a serial killer and thus only got the good side. But who knows? I can't think about it straight right now. But thank you. Thank you for letting me hold you. It puts my heart at ease. If only just a bit. Oh, how I want to. How I want to hold you even closer. And how much it hurts to see you sad. I can't even explain it. I'm sorry. Kitty. I'm so sorry. If it feels like I've let you down. I understand. And I'm gonna try my best not to run away not to think I can't be redeemed I'm gonna try and fight this but I think I'll really need you kitty cat because I can't do this alone I won't I won't cut off things with you no I'll be honest I'm not as strong as you think I am I don't know how to be that strong. Because it's hard to face yourself, isn't it? And I almost made a stupid choice. Almost. But you stopped me. Even after learning my dark past. Learning about everything. I still can't believe a kid again. It's like a dream. But also a nightmare. Because you know. You know what I did now. That's the nightmare of it. But the dream is that you... You still accept me. I love you, kitty cat. I love you so much. That it hurts. It hurts so much. But it also... Makes me so happy. Because the pain... It's just proof that I'm alive, isn't it? At least I'd like to think that way. My beautiful kitty cat. I think I just have to bear it. Live as best I can. So that the tragedy that happened. 
the tragedy that should never have can pass and move on. Maybe even someday I'll be able to move forward beyond this and not let it haunt me quite so much. Maybe then I'll be able to be a better man for you and for Coda too. Thanks for always making me smile. Even when I want to cry, I never thought anyone could do that. I thought it was more like a myth. More like something that was meant for others and not for me. And yet here you are, making my life special. Both of you. You make me feel like a human, not a monster. And I'm really thankful for that. <laughs> I guess I owe you a lot of kisses today, don't I? <laughs> that might be my favorite part. Paying back the kisses. <laughs> Makes me feel a whole lot better. Even with the shittiness of life sometimes. Like I don't need to be sad. Like all of that's just a bad memory. Instead of a lifelong guilt. Like I could melt in your embrace. Like I want you to melt in mine. Kitty. I love you, kitty cat. You mean everything to me. And every time I hear you say my name, I love it. And every time I say your name, I want to make it a special precious memory, one that you can't forget. <sighs> Kitty cat, stay with me forever. I've changed my mind, what can I say? I'll stay with you forever, you just gotta never leave. And promise me, if you ever see me going down a bad path, that then, you'll stop me no matter what. Not that I could ever see that happening with you and Coda, because you always know what to say to keep me on the edge of my seat, to keep me in those arms of yours, and on those lips, kitty cat. I feel so alive when I'm around you. It's ironic. It was that happiness that made me feel guilty, too. Because I thought, if I'm able to be so happy, shouldn't I have done something for them? And I realize it was silly. It was misplaced and misguided. But it's all over now, isn't it? I believe you, kitty cat. And I'll choose to cherish those words instead of the bad ones that resonate in my head sometimes. But there's less of those lately thanks to a certain someone. A certain kitty cat who I love to kiss. <laughs> you know, I was this close to teasing you and kissing Coda instead. I know. That's not your thing. And besides, what would your fan club think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'd consider it a betrayal. Coda, getting engaged with romantic relations with his friend. They'd either make a bunch of fan fiction about it, or I assume they'd, they'd be sad. Because they want to be with you instead. Yeah, I agree, buddy. Sometimes those fan fictions go crazy and... <clears throat> well, I didn't want to get too distracted, but I thought it would lighten the mood. I'm sorry for darkening it. And I'm sorry for scaring you. I didn't want you to feel bad or anything like that. It's just I... 
I didn't know how to say what needed to be said. And I regret that, but I'm glad in the end everything worked out. That you can still be by my side, and I'm so happy I get to be by yours. You know, kitty cat. I've never met anyone even close to like you. From the way you look at me, to the way you talk, I love the fact that I can hold a conversation with you without feeling like it's awkward. I can't believe my guilt almost stopped that from happening. Almost ended it right there and then. Be honest, kitty cat. You were scared too, right? When you started, Getting sad, I, I just wanted to hug you, but I, I really didn't feel like I deserved it at all. I had a really bad nightmare last night, which reminded me of everything. And in truth, that's why. That's what brought it up. The straw that broke the camel's back, I suppose. The old morbid little thing we say to remind ourselves that little things can matter too. Or in this case, big things that are in the past, that fade away, you forget about them. Maybe as a self-defense, so that you don't view yourself as some kind of bad thing, since it's no way to live. Right? Kitty, all I want is you to be by my side forever. All I want is all of that passion, that glints in your eyes to be mine. And I want to give you all of mine. Every last thought, feeling, idea. I want to share it with you. I want to have long nights where we stay up just talking, holding each other in our arms. I want to have nights where we can laugh. Nights where even if we cry, it ends on a good note. Special nights like no one has ever had. Or maybe even common nights. Little things that matter. Like eating our favorite food or maybe finding a dish we don't like. Something that really scars us for it. So that way, we have a memory where we can laugh at it later. That's all I really want with you. Is everything. The good and the bad. You've accepted everything of me. And I definitely accept all of you. So won't you be my kitty cat. My cute little kitty. I could never. Ever in a million years. Take it for granted. The time we spend right now. It's precious memories like a treasure to me, being able to cuddle with you, being able to hold my kitty so close and call you my own, it brings me even closer, I think, closer to the man I want to be, the man that can steal your heart a thousand times over, and the man that will always be there, even when you feel like crying. And even when the world is mean, that's who I'm going to be, no matter what the world says. I love you, my little kitty cat. And I'm happy you enjoy my company so much that you tried so hard. It means a lot, you know. I have a feeling that I'll never be able to fully feel it. The weight of things, but maybe that's a good thing. I've apologized in my heart, and what more can I do, right? And I'll never apologize for loving you. <laughs> my cute little kid again. Won't you always stay by my side? No matter what happens in this messed up world we live in. <laughs> Somehow I knew you'd say that. 
After everything, you're still the most wonderful kitty cat I could ever ask for. I live for moments like this, kitty cat. Every single time our lips touch, I feel as though I'm healed of any wound lingering on my heart. I feel whole again. And my kitty cat, you give me the most feelings of all. No matter what you do, you make me feel special. I love you. Your quivering lips betray you in the best possible way. I love you, Kitty. You have the best, most wonderful expression right now. I can tell how much you love me with a glance, even before our lips touch, even before I kiss you next. Kitty, I live for moments like that. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take care of my kid. For moments like that. Moments I can make you mine, kitty cat. Heart, mind, and soul. <sighs> I love you, kitty. <sighs> suit me better. I love you, kitty cat. I love you so much. Kitty, be mine forever. I won't ever let go. Never, ever. I love you so much. I'm 
so happy to have you right in my arms. No kidding. What am I gonna do with you? I don't even know what to do. It's because you make me so happy that I feel like I, I'm doing something wrong. I'm not used to being happy without strings attached, so pardon me. Sometimes it's just hard to believe is all. But I'll work on it. I'll get to a point where I can kiss you no matter what and not feel guilty. But we'll have a process going forward, won't we? Us too. No, you're right. Us three. I love you, my kitty cat. And you always surprise me. It's kind of funny. Because each time I expect things to go a certain way, they never do. You're always upsetting my expectations, I hope you know. So don't be surprised when I pick on you a little. <laughs> my cute kitty cat. I'll always hold you in my arms and take the best care of you I can. No matter what, I don't make these kisses without truly meaning them, you know. If not, I would have never even considered Stepping down from my place as your special someone. I never thought I'd consider it. But with the resurfacing memories and the guilt haunting me, I went into this mode of self-repression. Taking all that and saying, I'm a murderer. I don't deserve it. And here you are, shooting down my sadness. Making me feel like a human being. Even when I'm so used to being called a villain or scary. I... I love you, kitty cat, and thanks for always sticking up for me. Even when the voice inside my head doesn't. Even when my guilt gets like this, or I'm a handful to deal with. You've always stuck by me. I thought things would be so easy, but it wasn't. It really wasn't. And I'm... I'm struggling still, but a whole lot less than I was when it started. A whole lot less than when I woke up this morning. Now I feel like I can actually do something. Like I can change our lives for the better and feel a little less guilty about it. In fact, I'm a little proud right now. At least, in theory. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel. I feel a bit numb, a bit exhausted, but oh so loved. I'm living for it, trust me. I feel like I, I actually have a place not that you didn't make me feel like that before, but somehow telling you the whole truth on everything. I feel a weight's been lifted. Like I don't have to be afraid of even you thinking of me as a bad or a horrible person. In fact, I, I feel kind of decent, which is something that doesn't happen all that much when I'm thinking like I did. All that depression, the sadness, you help it wash away and make me feel so alive. I, I know I probably sound like a broken record, but thank you, kitty cat. I couldn't have done this without you. I couldn't have made it. I don't know what I would have done, but it certainly wouldn't have been as special as the moment we're sharing now. And it certainly wouldn't be as relaxing either. Uh, love you. With everything I am. 
the man who'll make you happy.